Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 64 in chapter 7. In this chapter, we talk about work and energy. And then, in this one, we reduce the, the previous problems. Just consider there is a friction. So still, we can see we have the object. It is there. The mass is given. And the angle theta is also given. This object just stay on this slope. And then there is a force acted by the person is given. We need to find the work done by the FP by gravity by normal force and then the final velocity. See how can we do that? Because there we assume the coefficient of the fraction is 0 0.01. That means in this problem we need to consider fraction. Yeah, fraction force. And in this case we can see because there is a force acting on it to push it up. So very easily we can see the friction is pointing down. Mm -hmm. And then, so in this one, we can see it, if we consider the force acting on the object, first one is gravity, normal force, force by the person, and the friction there, right? So we, it looks like we need to find the friction first because we need to find the work. So how can we do that? We project the gravity at the x component and the y component. This is x component. This is the y component. So this is mg cosine theta. This side mg sine theta. And also we need to project fp in x component and the y component. In x component, fp cosine theta. In y component, fp sine theta. Agree? Then we need to find the fraction. So first thing we look at the y component. At the y component, the net force is zero because the object never move along the y component. Y component it is stationary in the y component. So F1 minus Fp sine theta minus mg cosine theta equals zero. So in this case we can find this F1 agree. And very easily we can find the fraction is the co coefficient mu k times F1 and input F1 inside we get it zero. So the fraction is get. Now we need to find the work down by the FP. You can see this is FP. This is the distance it's moving D. Angle theta. So very easily FP D cosine theta. And FP D is given. Theta is given. Easy. The next one asks you to find the work done by gravity. Also, still similarly, the gravity mg and the distance is moved D. So how can we do that? This one is 90 degree. Do you agree? So the angle between the mg and the d is a 90 degree plus theta. Therefore, we have the work done by the gravity is mg d cosine theta plus 90 degree. The next one, the work done by normal force. We can see normal force f1 with the d's angle between f1 and d is 90 degree. So cosine 90 degree is zero. There. The next one, we need to find the final velocity, right? So we consider work energy principle. So the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy equals the net work. And initial kinetic energy is zero because we assume it is stationary. Stationary. So this final kinetic energy is one half mv2 squared. Now we need to find the work. The net work must include the WP work done by FP, work done by the gravity, work done by normal force, and work done by Friction. So how can we get the work done by friction? You can see the friction is uh, pointing to negative x. D is uh, positive x. So there is a negative side, opposite direction, right? Because F friction and D at opposite direction, cosine 180 degree negative 1. And then we get the equation there. So the network, we need to include is uh, P, G, N, F. Now, after you input all the numbers inside, you get the final answer. Thank you.